And now we're live. Okay. Um, so if you uh, noticed, we made a little boo-boo when we went live in our regular page, but now we're live in our Digital Faro Facebook group. We're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Hopefully nobody's rushing over to the Faro page. which is not quite frozen, but it's pretty cold. So if you want to touch really cold water, you can put your hands in your cold water at home. 
All right, so in order to get to the urchin, I'm going through the cold water, so my finger's cold, and I'm gonna put my finger in between the spines and get a hug. Yay! That urchin's got a pretty good grip. Okay, so that feels uh, like a bunch of things that are hugging me, but what I really wanna touch is the very tip. So we're gonna do this really gently, and we're just gonna touch the very tips of his spines, or her spines. Very gently, we don't wanna bother the urchin. Woo, that's a, my hand is very cold. Now I'm gonna wipe it off and we're gonna touch over here. So, which of these items do you think feels the most spiny? Well, if you said you thought that these uh, toothpicks were pretty spiny, let's see. Yeah, they feel pretty similar. Yeah, I would say these are very similar to the urchin uh, uh, spines. So, good job. If you have something spiny at home, it's like spaghetti noodles that's sticking out or something else that feels spiny, then you did a good job. Okay, so now we are going to touch something that feels a lot different than spiny. How about something that feels soft and squishy? Which one of these animals do we think might feel, looks to feel soft and squishy? Hmm, you know, I bet the sea cucumbers they look pretty soft and squishy, except, you know, they're a little, uh, they <clears throat> send some interesting double messages. So it looks like they have spines on their back. But these spines and those spines on the urchin look a little different. But so first I'm gonna touch the spines and see if they feel spiny. But the rest of the sea urchin maybe feels soft and squishy. So first we'll try the spines. Oh, there's that cold water again. Oh no, look at that. I can make his spine go flat. Oh, you know what it feels like? I don't have one, but it feels like the very top of a Hershey's Kiss chocolate candy. Yeah, so it's not spiny. It's just kind of pointy, a little bit pointy and hard. Okay, so let's try the sea urchin or sea cucumber's body now. Look at that. That certainly seems very soft and squishy. <laughs> it's like the Stay Puffed, oh, Marshmallow Man. If I had to pick one of the items on my tray to feel the same as the sea cucumber body, I would definitely pick the marshmallows, soft and squishy. Right. Hopefully you had something soft and squishy at home. Stuffed animals are soft and squishy. Uh, maybe a ball of socks is soft and squishy. Lots of options. Okay, now we're getting into the really hard to describe touches. So those ones were kind of easy ones. We're gonna get a little harder. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try touching this big purple sea star right here. Now, he's pretty interesting because he has all these little white bumps. So I think this sea star is going to feel bumpy. But the bumps aren't all over his body. There's some other just purple patches as well. So I don't know what the purple parts without the bumps are going to feel like. So we're gonna touch both. Are you ready? All right, here comes that cold water. So first we're gonna touch some bumps. <gasps> Oh yeah, those do feel bumpy. And then we're gonna touch the purple part. Oh, you know what? Looks can be tricky. Remember how before we touched the sea cucumber and his spines and they didn't feel very spiny? They more felt like candy. These have little bumps that you can't see in the purple parts, but also the white bumps that you can see. So now we want something that's kind of bumpy. Let's see a great assortment here but I think 
you know what, if I stuck all these little kernels up so they were more like pieces of rice, I didn't have any rice at Farrow today, but you might have some at home, but if I stuck all the pointy ends up and didn't touch the smooth parts, that's kind of bumpy like he feels. Lots of little bumps. All right, so let's see if we can find another sea star in here that might also feel bumpy. Let's see. So we know that these purple sea stars, these uh, are called ochre stars. They are the same sea stars, just a different species, but just in a different color as the orange ones, right? So these are basically the same kind of animal. So I bet they feel very similar. Now this sea star does not really look bumpy at all, so I don't think he's gonna feel very bumpy. Oh, but this sea star, look at all those little white dots. I think that sea star will feel very bumpy. Should we try it? Okay, we're gonna try it. Oh yeah, that is a super bumpy sea star. That's actually like, bumpy times a hundred. Boy, that would definitely at least be rice. I'm trying to think of something else that would be super bumpy like that. I'm having a hard time thinking of something actually. I don't know, maybe you have a toy at home that has a lot of bumps on it. Mm -hmm. But this one, this sea star, the painted, right, or rainbow star, feels even bumpier than the ochre star. So the ochre star is a little bumpy, and this one is a lot bumpy. Okay, so let's see. We have an animal in the touch tank over here that a lot of people ask about because it doesn't really look like very much. It's just kind of a big reddish lump, but there's a soft animal inside this big reddish lump, and then it's covered with a hard shell, and then it has a covering on top of the shell. So this is a gumboot chitin, and chitin is spelled C-H-I-T-O-N. Maybe later you can practice writing that one because the CH makes a K sound. Okay, so we're gonna touch this one. I think it feels very unusual. It's not very squishy. It doesn't squish in because of that hard shell underneath. And you know what? I feel very happy that I don't have to put my hand in the cold water to touch this chitin. But you know what? It does feel a little bit rubbery almost. Do we have anything on our cart that feels rubbery? <gasps> what about a rubber boot? You might have a boot at home or a raincoat and it sort of feels like plasticky and, and rubbery which is hard and soft at the same time, right? Yep, this is pretty close to what that gum boot chitin feels like. And that is because it's called a gum boot because these kind of boots in England are often called gum boots, which are good boots to wear when you go to the beach. Okay. All right, should we move over here? Okay, we're gonna touch two more animals today. First, we're gonna touch a really uh, easy one. Let's see. Let me actually find one that has a animal in it. All right, we're gonna touch one of these snails. So if you look close at the snail, you can see that there's a hard shell, and inside the shell, the thing that's sticking on the wall is actually, well, we got a little shadow there, is actually the animal, so it looks kind of like pink and purple right here. That's the animal, the soft animal that lives inside. So first, we're just gonna touch the hard shell because I don't know that the animal is really that excited about having him touch us. So. Ooh, that's different. <gasps> you know what that kind of feels like? It's hard, but it has like a little fuzzy, furry thing on the top of it. 
sort of feels like a carpet. Like if you have a little a carpet with a little bit of pile to it. But it's very hard. I don't think I have anything. Oh, the toothbrush maybe is kind of similar. I don't know if I have anything that feels like this. Feels like, oh, you know what? If there's anybody at your house that has very, very short hair, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like that. And you see the snail said, no, please don't touch my body. So he closed, she closed herself up on the wall there. So we're gonna leave the snail's body alone for today. But if you had to think about a snail and what it felt like, I would guess I would go with squishy and maybe even a little slimy. So do we have anything on our cart that might feel a little slimy? Let's see. You know, I said this was gonna be last, but I think this is the thing that might feel slimy. Oh yeah. Yep, oil definitely feels slimy. You know what, if you touch a fish, if you ever go fishing, sometimes fish also make a little bit of slime to protect their scales. So probably this is what rocky or one-eyed black rock fish would also feel like. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna touch a sand dollar. Now we make a joke that there's all these sand dollars make up a bank, right? Like where you put your money. But that means that they are able to use little tiny hairs on their body, very, very short hairs, to dig into the sand. So I'm gonna touch, oh, cold water. I'm gonna touch one here. Oh, tiny little hairs. You gotta be very gentle. I'm gonna touch very gently. And I can feel those little hairs on that sand dollar's shell. So the shell of a sand dollar is very hard, like this, but you see this one doesn't have any outer coating. It doesn't look the same color. So when the sand dollar has died and only left its shell behind, it's like this. Well, when there's a living animal inside the sand dollar shell, it looks dark purple or sometimes kind of pink with the spines on it. And that's how it's finding its food and moving around. So I know we have something that feels a little like sand dollar spines. It's not this one. These are much pointier than sand dollar spines. It is the toothbrush. If you top the touch of it, touch the top of a toothbrush, ooh, that was a tongue twister, you can feel just like what a sand dollar feels like. And very gently remember, because sand dollar spines are very tiny and can break very easily. Okay, that was a lot of animals, and my hand is actually pretty cold right now. I don't know about you. Um, if you have any questions, now would be a good time to ask them. Otherwise, we will see you next week for an activity on compare and contrast, and we'll be going outside to do that activity. I'll wait a second for questions. Okay, see you later.